Hey, Joshua here from Lumiere, and I've just been working through a project uh, for Xavier. You may have heard about that in our logs, but um, I thought it'd be a great project to demonstrate the power of Pluralize. It's a plugin by Red Giant that we use within Premiere, so we don't have to go outside of the program when syncing video and audio. Uh, so let's just jump in right now. You can see this is a sequence that I've been working on. I uh, can't wait to share this with you, bit of a sneak peek right there. But what I'm going to do is just duplicate um, a sequence and just delete everything out of it. You can see that is what we're going to end up with. But if we start with a fresh sequence, I'll just get rid of all these tracks so it's right back to the beginning. Now I'm going to drop in my video clips into the sequence, just like that, and I'm going to drag a lav audio send that I want to sync up with the video. You can see the lav is about a min oh, an hour 20 minutes and the footage is about 40 minutes so obviously these clips are going to be scattered along this audio line once it's synced. If I was going to do this manually within Premiere I could use the synchronize feature but it would just take a long time. Um, I could try and sync synchronize it with the time code if I recorded time code with the audio um, but Pluralize just looks at the audio waveforms and does it all automatically for you. Here we go, Pluralize, and if it's not there we can find it in extensions Pluralize for once you install the plugin. So it's as simple as just choosing the sequence you want to synchronize and hit synchronize. Now this is all real time, I'm not speeding any of this up. You can see it'll go through, prepare the media to synchronize, then it will synchronize, and then it will import the synchronized file back into Premiere and open up a new sequence with the sequence name underscore sync and there you have it 92 percent 96 we're almost there what it's going to do now is finish synchronizing and then it's going to import the synchronized audio file back into Premiere and create a new sequence uh, with all the clips synced up you can see Pluralize has imported a new sequence uh, with a drift corrected audio clip. I'm just going to go ahead and drag that into a new file and rename it Sync. And this is our sequence right here. All the clips have been synchronized to the audio at the bottom. The red clips here on the end are just clips that Pluralize found it difficult to sync. This is a simple sequence that you could use Pluralize for. It took about two minutes to process for me, which is not a long time. Um, Pluralize is also fantastic for more complicated sequences. You might have three or four cameras uh, for an interview setup or a conference, depending on your, your line of work. And Pluralize just handles everything for you. You could run multiple cameras, multiple audio streams, and just click one button, walk away, come back 20 minutes later, and it's all sorted for you awesome piece of software definitely worth the investment if you are syncing a lot if you want to check out pluralize head to the red giant uh, website there'll be a link in the description for this video below as always share this around and comment below for things that you'd like to see more of in the future